Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This video covers the design, DFM, manufacturing and assembly of my do-it-yourself CNC router. My name is uh, John Odiambo. My education background is in design and manufacturing and 20 plus years of hands-on experience in the product development and manufacturing space. This presentation showcases state-of-the-art CAD CAM and CNC methods and techniques that would be found in most manufacturing facilities today. I'm also looking to briefly touch on topics such as work holding, machining plan, and DFM without getting too technical. I have divided uh, the presentation into four parts to avoid creating one very long video. So make sure you watch all four and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Enjoy. The CNC router assembly is made up of three main sections, that's the router body, gantry and the z-axis. The sections are made up of sub-assemblies and components both purchased and some designed and manufactured from scratch. The ball screw and related components are purchased from VBX.com, these are the motion control hardware. The plug and play NEMA 23 CNC control system from avidcnc.com is a hardware that transfers the input into the stepper motor motion. The Bosch router, uh, this could be any brand, is from Lowe's or Home Depot or basically any hardware, any hardware store of your, of your choosing. The 8020 aluminum extrusions form the basic machine structure. The Mac 4 from Arcsoft is a software interface between the computer and the CNC machine control system. About 20 components have been designed and CNC machined from scratch. I have covered more design and production details of these components in parts 2, 3 and 4 of the router video series, so make sure you watch those two and do not forget to subscribe. 